welcome back. Okay, so we're going to work on this lighting up here. And what I've done is, if you can see, I've created like a little black sort of structure at the top there, uh, just to separate each light. And how I've done that is I've got some straw, old straws, chopped them up to the right size, and I've just wrapped some black tape around them. So they're a lot thinner. I mean, if you look at the size of this straw, it's a lot wider. And then I've just cut a, cut a strip in it and just sort of rolled it tighter and put some of this black insulation tape on it. Um, and that will be my sort of, my pole that will come down from the ceiling um, to the light fixture. Now, I'm also going to put a panel. So I've marked out the distance using my sort of measuring skills to work out whereabouts the lights are going to sit. And I've cut a little piece of wood out just to allow that to sort of slip through. I'm going to drill holes into it in a minute where those markings are. And um, then the lights will slip through those holes and create sort of a bit more of a stable structure for the lights uh, to sort of be fed through. So yeah, so I'm just gonna draw those holes now and I'll show you how that looks in just a second. There we have it, a couple of holes drilled nicely into the piece of wood. So there you go, I've, I have taped it up there so it looks very messy at the moment but um, as you can see once it's stuck to the ceiling and these are glued straight it will look a little bit better and obviously I need to paint this. I'm also going to see these little bits at the back here. I'm going to create a little ridge at the back here so that wire doesn't interfere with, with me gluing this to the top. So I've got one there and I've got one there and I just need to create two ridges there. So I've made two little pencil marks um, so I can create a ridge. Okay, so I've marked along where I want to create a little ridge. And I'm going to use um, this little tool. It's a it's a little miniature carving tool. And it's got, um, I'll show you the, the end of it. It's got a strange little curve, which will help. Excuse the state of my hands. They're so rough from all of this woodwork. <laughs> um, but yes, anyway, so this little curve will, I'm just gonna dig in very gently along these two lines and create a little ridge. Um, and that will help me to tuck the wires away. Like that, that's it. They are just very small. I did get a bit carried away, but uh, <laughs> that's all you need. It is just like an indentation of the wood, but be careful not to go all the way through to the other side. Um, you just want to do just enough so that it, the wires are nicely hidden in that ridge and you can glue the wires down into the ridge. I managed to find these tiny little sort of circular, they're called seat buffers um, in Wilco's and they've got a lovely sort of shape, nice flat at the back. Um, and I thought these would make nice ceiling rows <clears throat> type things to add to the, um, the lights. So I'm gonna give that a go. So it's already got a small hole in there, but it's not quite a hole. It's just sort of a circular shape in the middle there. So I'm going to use my little hand drill and I'm going to try and go all the way through hopefully without ruining the little rubber.
after successfully doing that, I've now painted them a lovely gold colour. Um, I'm going to go over them with a little bit of gloss just to give them a little bit of shine, but I'm quite happy with that. I actually decided against using the, uh, the straws that I'd made earlier, which were going to go into the ceiling rows. Um, I think I'm going to go with a corded look now, so just to have like a cord which will act like a wire uh, down to the main part of the light. So I went on a hunt to find some cord and I found this. I managed to get this um, sort of material, it's like a, a cord, it's got a slight sheen to it which I quite liked. And, uh, I thought I'd use this for the um, the light cord that's going to go through the ceiling of the downstairs. So I've got my little painted little rubber stoppers, which will now be my ceiling roses. And I've started feeding one through anyway by taping the end, um, and then I'm going. Well, I'm going to feed all three through, measure how much I want, and then just cut the cord down so I'll do that now. pre-warning if you do want to do this this whole process is incredibly incredibly fiddly so just bear that in mind if you don't like fid fiddly projects this one might not be for you space them out and I'm just going to cut them to size. I'm also going to tape the ends just so that the thing does not come apart again because I really don't want to be doing that again. I want to push the wire through here first, don't I? So the first one. I'm going to push through. It's going to come through here. Be gentle, don't break the 
bulb for the light. Okay. And then, this is just very fiddly, but we push it through the hole where the light is. This is where it's going to get a bit difficult, so I've got to get bulbs through too. Okay, so you can see what I've got going on here. I'm going to separate that just so I can get one bulb through. Oop. And then the second, right? Okay, we're getting there now. Okay. And I'm going to leave. important getting that through okay so I'm gonna do the same with the second light and the third adjusted it and I've got all the bulbs even um, so yeah I'm gonna do that now around and trying to organize where the wires are going to fit I then decided to just put a bit of tape on the top of the ceiling just so that it will um, hold those wires in place where those little nooks are um, it'll just help to secure it while I'm working on the rest incredibly this is will really test your patience so I'm testing mine I'll tell you to sit nicely on this against the ceiling. Um, I'll certainly need to be sellotaped down there because otherwise I'm going to end up doing something silly like forgetting what I need to think about that. After finally getting all that sorted, I've applied a bit of tacky glue to the top of the ceiling rows and I'm going to snip off the end of the cord that is um, 
you know, holding it um, sellotaped at the top. And I'm going to uh, stick the ceiling rolls up to the ceiling. Obviously, if you do do this, be really careful that you're not about to cut the wire because then you'll ruin all of your hard work and the lights won't work. So make sure that you don't cut into the actual LED wire. I've turned it upside down just so I can see what I'm doing and um, I'm allowing gravity to do its thing so I've filled the little wells up with a bit of glue just to make sure <laughs> that that doesn't happen again and the string doesn't come out so yeah I've just got to wait for that to dry and then I can glue this part down onto the actual ceiling so I'll set that aside before we even work on this top bit, which will have the, um, the supports on. Okay. to glue it all down now and I'm using a nice strong wood glue and I'm going to leave it overnight so that it's lovely and ready for the next stage. There we go, I'm actually really happy with that and now I'm going to move on to making the lampshades. I have this uh, Ferrero Rocher pack which is absolutely brilliant for making something like this because it's already got the circles inside, it's got lovely gold tint so I don't need to paint it and it's going to be really easy to cut so um, I'm going to go with this. out the circles and I've also used a bit of craft wire to create these circular ring shapes which I thought would add a little bit of detail. Um, now when I actually checked against my uh, my ceiling light unfortunately these are a little bit too big so I'm gonna have to modify them and uh, cut, cut down them and make them a little bit smaller but aside from that I'm actually really happy with them. Here they are, the modified version. Um, I've attempted to feed it through onto the light, but this is proving very difficult. So make sure that you really do make the hole big enough at the top so that you can feed everything through and glue it, glue it uh, to the top. I did wish I had my glue gun, but unfortunately that was not available at this time and I was relying on tacky glue which wasn't great, uh, so yeah, if you've got a glue gun, might be better.
ah, after a lot of faffing around and trying to get the wires hidden and <laughs> everything else, they're finally done. I'm so happy with them. They actually look much better in real life. Um, and yeah, I'm now ready for the, for the next stage, which will be the back panel. And I'm going to do a nice little coffee bar at the back there. Um, I don't know if you've seen them. They're like little home coffee bars, but that'll be, I'll be working on that next time. Okay, take care and I'll see you next time.